Assalamu alaikum to some of you and peace to the rest of you. Yesterday, as I got ready to leave where I live, I got into a conversation with uh, a Salafi. And he's not one of the hyper judgmental people that we stereotypically associate with those of us who actually believe in applying the Quran and Sunnah and living it. His manners are actually uh, quite nice. But there was something that stuck out yesterday when we had this conversation. He was talking against his bia and partisanship, which is understandable. And he was blaming the Salafis that fall into the same trap. And this is a very mature thing for someone to do. However, there's something else involved as well. Something else at play. Yesterday, as we were talking about it, I compared the uh, tribalism and nationalism of the population here to this partisanship, and I said, look, uh, we got an issue uh, with this too. We've got people that uh, we are teaching in the classrooms, and with no hatred, they are still considering the possibility or they are turning over in their mind and really not even considering the possibility, but they are making the assumption that they are better. And that there is, of course, no reason to treat strangers as equals and that some of them don't do this. Sorry for yawning. So as I had this conversation with him, he, um, he said, yeah, that problem's never going to be done away with. And so I said, well, it really doesn't have to be. I'm going to start telling black folks what more and more of other people think about us. And now this brother himself to whom I was talking is of Afghan origin. And he told me of the horrible practices going on in Afghanistan and of their terrible attitude towards black people. He said that some of the attitudes they have towards black folks are some of the worst that he's ever seen in any ethnicity outside of the Western Europeans who hate everybody. He said that they they have insults that don't even, they're so bad they don't even have a, a translation in English or Arabic. It's like saying uglier than ugly and the insult only is used for black people. So uh, he told me how they treat the Hazara women um, and I told him straight up, if the Hazara wiped out the rest of the Afghan population because of this, or whoever treated them this way, how could we blame them? This is war. I said to him, I'm going to tell black folks what other people feel about us, the good and the bad. There are times when we overestimate some people's biases towards us, like with Arabs. And there are times we underestimate it. And I'm just going to give black folks the truth about different peoples and tell them that we're going to have to stop um, being willing to form alliances with other communities. And that what we need to do is start working on our own development and only accept individuals as allies. And that's with ample evidence of their alliance and their allegiance towards us. And that we don't need anybody else, any other community, ethnic, ethnically speaking. He said that's partisanship, that's, a, that's another party. That's exactly what happened with the NOI. So I said, okay, all right, what do you recommend? And all he could recommend is be patient. This is somebody who does not mean any harm, but all he can recommend for us again is being patient. He didn't even recommend us punching people for certain things that they say, although we know that if we were to say certain things, they would punch us. He could only recommend being patient. This is an example of the bare minimum of brainwashing that I'm talking about when I tell you that the world has been brainwashed. We and other people, and we're not the most brainwashed people in the world anymore because at least we know there's a brainwashing and we're trying to get out of it. This is a brother that does not know he's been brainwashed. And as he doesn't know that he's been brainwashed, 
he can't turn around and undo the brainwashing. He can't challenge it. He can't oppose it. He can't undo it because he doesn't know he's a victim of it. What does that tell you? The bare minimum, and this is a Sulafi, super Sulafi. He can't tell you anything other than be patient. That's where the brainwashing begins. I hope this has been a benefit. Salam alaikum.